All right, so let's talk about laboratories. So I've got the first two laboratories open and there's, I've actually got the third one, I'm still drafting it. I'm experimenting, um, you know, physics is an experimental sport. So I am experimenting, so I'm asking you guys to do some things for me. So those of you who had me in E6, you're gonna see some differences in the labs. And I'm asking specifically those of you who did E6, because I did a little bit different than what I did in, in general physics one from spring. So I'm really, I'm really looking for those of you who did some of that stuff with me that actually give me some feedback. So this first laboratory, we're gonna find examples of simple harmonic motion in the real world. So when you open this, I am trying really, really hard to make it so that you can find all the information about the laboratory. Now, if you open the submit your PDF of the lab, speaking of which I didn't point that out for some of my new folks, you have a link to CAM Scanner, which is a scanning um, app that you can put on iPhone or Android. And by using your student ID, you can get the professional version, which is really great. And that way you can scan any written documents into your phone and send a PDF picture. I am asking that we do PDFs because I wanna make sure that I can open up everything and PDFs are the easiest. So those of you who had me E6, some of the last labs I had inside here, basically, if you get the submit your PDF, that's basically all that's there. Um, right now it's listed as one attempt, but if you need another attempt because for whatever reason, Blackboard didn't upload it, just holler at me and I'll give you more attempts to upload your PDF. Additionally, if there is ever a problem, I will accept your laboratory reports and laboratory memos via email as well. Um, the only ca caution that I give you on those is that if you've done that and I go through and I grade and I've forgotten that you have, um, you've submitted it via email, just email me and say, hey, I submitted that one via email and I'll go back and find it. Sometimes I misfile it, but that's why it's better if you can get it in the Blackboard because then I can't lose it. But I will accept it via email. And those, most of you have had me before know that if I've typed in something wrong or WebAssign didn't do it right or I, you gave it to me via email, or email, I will go in and make modifications. So that should get you there. So that's, that's one of the changes. The other change that I am doing is I want to get more interaction and I want folks to talk about their lab a little bit more. So I really am going to, so there's points are going to be split up between your discussion and whatever I'm requesting as a submittal. This laboratory, I am asking you to do a one page laboratory memorandum. So those of you who've had me before know that I have a template and there are gonna be times that I'm going to ask you to do that template. But for this particular one, I'm really wanting to have people discuss where simple harmonic motion is. I'm wanting it, so I've narrowed it down to one page and I'm trying to do this sheet that's, that's giving you the explanation of scoring for the lab. So if I'm dropping the lab, I will drop both parts of the lab. So for this lab, this first lab, 25 points will be awarded for the graded discussion. In the discussion, I want you to give me three examples or videos of simple harmonic motion. Okay, you can go out and stage it. You can go out, I, but I want it to be something that's, that's you've seen and you've done. And so you're gonna get three points for each video that's awarded. Great, because we want the more examples of simple harmonic motion, the better. Three points will be given for a description of why what you took was an example of simple harmonic motion. So 
18 points will just be posting of your videos and giving us a discussion. And then seven points are talking up to amongst your other colleagues about that simple harmonic motion. Then 25 points will be awarded for the one, man, one page memorandum. I've given you the one page memorandum as a document and I've given it to you as a Google template. So let's open up the Google template. And this case, I've really kind of outlined exactly what I'm expecting from your, your template. Now, of course, this is running over a little bit extra here, but I'm really wanting you to kind of utilize this as, as a way to guide. If it's more than one page, that's great. I'm not, not worried about it, but I'm trying to make this first one a little, a little simple. So I, I'm giving you that template that you can utilize. So that way, I'm hoping this will make the labs a little more explanatory because we're going to be out there looking for physics two items in the real world. Um, we're going to be using your cell phone. We're going to be using that Firefox app on your cell phone. We're going to measure the Earth's gravitational field. We're going to do some really cool things that you're going to be like, oh, man, I can do a lot of physics without being in a laboratory. So, so that's what this one is. So here is the write-up for the lab. So simple harmonic motion. And I will tell you right now that part of this, this activity discussion was generated by using AI. I actually used Gemini for this one. Um, but we're going to go back in and look at simple harmonic motion, some examples to get you started. Uh, we want you to do that discussion. So your share and discuss, that's where your discussion part is, and your laboratory memorandum. So this really is that first lab. Don't overthink it, okay? I've tried to be very explicit. Now, I'm asking for some of the labs, I'm going to ask a survey. This will not affect your grade at all. Uh, but I'm asking, did you like this better? What did you like about it? How was this in there? I'm trying to do some more universal design for my laboratories. And so I'm really asking for your feedback. So please give me your feedback because I, I'm wanting to know. So for those of you who finished with E6, we're going to do the pendulum again um, because it's a great example of simple harmonic motion. It is a little different. I have linked to the example laboratory memo. There is a discussion. There's the scoring for the laboratory. And this is the scenario for the experiment. So it looks similar to what you guys did if you finished E6 with me. Um, and But I really want you to go through and I've added some more specific things that I want to make sure that you get. As part of the report, you're going to have to discuss how's a pendulum simple harmonic motion. Look at this memo and tell me, were there things wrong? Are there things that aren't carefully explained? We are going to be critically analyzing output of some of our new tools. So I really want to see that in your written report. Um, you're going to need an equation of motion. By Thursday, you'll understand what an equation of motion is for simple harmonic motion. So you're really going to need that. Uh, recalling that the pendulum is doing acceleration due to gravity, I'm expecting to see, did you calculate the acceleration due to gravity? And did you do an error analysis of that acceleration due to gravity? Based upon the laboratory, you're going to need three different links and provide a graph. Are three enough? Yes? No? Tell me why. Graphing is a way of doing averaging. Graphing is a way of seeing the model. Three is a bare minimum. But if we've got one outlier, because Mother Nature isn't fair, you know, maybe three isn't enough. Are there any considerations? What would you change? I mean, this is a very simple one. What would you change? And then you need to submit your PDF. 
So I think this one will be pretty straightforward. And then we will we'll go on and we will talk about it more as people start to work with it. Don't let your labs linger because one of the things about, this is a laboratory course, you have to complete eight of the physical labs, but now doing it, breaking it up a little bit, I have a little bit more flexibility. If you're responding to the discussion board, that at least documents that you participated in the lab. So I want to make sure that you guys get eight laboratories. I will drop two laboratories and I will let you know that laboratory 11 and 12 are going to count as two labs. And it will be an, a light based lab. And we will be looking at how light interacts with your environment. We'll be looking at reflection and refraction. And I will get that one out posted as quickly as I can because I want you to have plenty of time to be looking at light. Um, especially with 4th of July, you may wanna look at light with fireworks or looking at light and how, how they've got some of those, those things that are there. And so that, that'll be helpful. So I will have that posted by the end of the week so that you guys can start pulling together that major project at the end. You'll also need to do a pinhole projector as part of that project. And we'll talk more about that as well, but do want to kind of give you a heads up there. All right, I got a question in the chat. You can use the examples. Um, I would encourage you to find other examples. I gave I, one of them is thought provoking. I'd encourage you also to do a search to see other examples, but yes, you can do, uh, there's another example. I've had people do the ruler, the vibration of the ruler. That is another example of that's actually dampened uh, harmonic motion. So if you're having trouble finding a third one, you can, you, you know, you might, you might ask some questions. Um, and as we get through some lectures, some things might come to you. Physics is, you can use one of the examples that I provide, but I would like to see some other ones because the, simple harmonic motion, you'd be really surprised as to where it is around you. And, and, you, and, you, don't, and you don't think about it as much. The other thing is that's why you start early because you'll wake up in the morning and go, hey, that's, a, that's, a, that's some simple harmonic motion. And so you'll be able to find and use, and folks, I will tell you right now, the Olympic trials are working and I'm going to use examples from the Olympics. We're going to see some really cool examples from the Olympics on a variety of things. So that'll be some interesting parts that we, because I like to use what we've got going on as well. Other questions? I'm guessing brains are full um, and we have time to, uh, and I can get you started on your labs, but uh, I, I have a couple more spaces for this class and there was a waiting list. So I really don't want to dive in too much into lecture material. So I'll hang around for questions and let you all go and get started. <laughs> 